catch up with my good buddy, Mr. Joey Spencer, 10 and 0, 7 KO, two time hey, PVC prospect of the year, and you're only 19, 19 years old, right? And uh, yeah, 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 19. And your birthday's tomorrow, tomorrow, right? I turn 20 tomorrow. Ah, yeah. uh, man, how are you dealing with this coronavirus then for your birthday on your March, baby? You know? Or... Oh, man. So the way I look at it is, uh, you know, I had my fight uh, in April that just got canceled so either i would have been in training camp and i probably would have been you know sparring or running or you know all that stuff on my birthday i just found out that it's canceled so i can take uh, my birthday and kind of chill a little bit and uh i've trained all this week even though the fight was canceled but i'm gonna be able to take my birthday off and just chill so i'm cool with having to be quarantined on my birthday because uh, i would have been you know probably uh, you know, training my butt off and cutting weight and everything. So, you know, I, I'm cool with it. You know, I'm, I'm okay with having a, a quarantine birthday. Doesn't bother you just a little bit, you know, seeing the fact that, you know, going around, um, you know, traveling somewhere exotic that you see everyone goes and all that, or you just, you just, just a country kind of guy, just like to stay back and just relax. This is the ideal birthday. Yeah, no, that's cool. You know, I, I, uh, I'm jealous of people who are in a warm climate right now, though, because I see people <laughs> that are just at, at the uh, at the beach and, and hanging out and, you know, everything. But it's cool. It's, it snowed today here. You know, it was starting to warm up here in Michigan, and then all of a sudden today we got more snow. So that's irritating, you know. But like I said, we kind of talked off screen, you know. I can still go shoot and still, you know, enjoy the outdoors once it warms up a little bit and maybe try to go catch some fish or something. Uh at some point, you know, even if I have to do it by myself once it warms up a little bit. Now, now I, I definitely have to ask, um, considering the fact that, you know, you're you're an active fighter. You fight multiple times throughout the year. Yeah. And it seems yeah. the fact that you are very young. I'm sure your metabolism is, is very great. But even then, right. it's still, you're a professional fighter. You can't ever, you know, slack off. You know, making weight yeah. is still a huge thing. You're a growing boy with that. How do you, I guess, combat against this coronavirus thing you know and and do you, do you still have access to the gym do you work at at home like i know they can let you run a little bit outside um, yeah yeah so um i was kind of i had back-to-back -back fights for my last uh two i didn't really take i mean actually for my last three i haven't really taken a break i've just trained i haven't taken more than two days off for the last three training camps so i'm uh due for a little bit of time off uh, anyway, you know, m even my uh, family and my coaches and stuff like that are pushing me to take some time off because of some overtraining and letting my body heal and rest and stuff like that. So my fight getting canceled, I'm taking this opportunity, even though I trained all through last week. Last week it got canceled and I trained this week and then figured once they just said that everybody kind of needed to stay indoors. I was still going to the gym every day and stuff. But once now that they're here in Michigan are kind of doing the you need to stay home, like, from the government. I'm like, maybe I'll take this time to take a little rest and, and you know, chill down on the training a little bit. Just let my body heal a little bit. It's needed. So it really, uh, I, I don't, like you said, I never slack off and I never uh, really take many breaks anyway, so I can afford to, to stay indoors and chill a little bit. I'm still going to run and, and uh, you know, use my treadmill and, you know, maybe even go on some outdoor runs and stuff like that. So I'll stay in shape. It's all good. Now, you know, I, I know that, you know, as a professional fighter, this is your way of living and um, mm -hmm. your way of income and things like that. And I know Absolutely. that I know that you have a, an abundance of sponsors and a lot of people that support yeah. you. But, you know, it, it's kind of, I guess, maybe unknown how long this this thing will happen. So, like, is there like a business plan or a model that you as or maybe other boxers may have to do? I've heard people say they might have to get like a real job, you know, um, yeah. in, in, in cases like that, if this goes to a long, long period? Well, I'll, I'll say it depends on where, um, you know, us as fighters, obviously, we're pretty much self-employed, obviously, and we, you know, make money when we fight. So it is hard to hear when they're saying that even the May fights are canceled now, and we don't really know how long this is going to go. It sucks being a fighter and not being able to fight. Everyone's kind of in the same boat. A lot of people are out of work and things like that. Um, me personally, um, 
I don't think that I'm anywhere close. You know, we do well. We keep money saved and things like that. And uh, I don't think I'm anywhere near having to actually go out there and get a job outside of boxing. Um, but if it got to that point where, you know, boxing doesn't come back for a long, you know, period of time that it ends up going, coming to that point, then I definitely would. You know, I wouldn't be against it and be like, oh, no, all I do is buy. No, if I had to go get a job to provide for my family, I would, you know, no doubt. But uh, I don't think that I'm anywhere near um, having to do that yet. We have money set aside. And I think that as far as a business plan from what you were saying and a strategy, you know, like you said, I have a lot of sponsors. Um, my sponsorships uh, are usually fight um, per fight. And um, we have yearly deals but it's per fight you know and um, I think that maybe as far as the strategy I think that fighters with decent uh, social decent to large social media platforms can start to really use those platforms that we have to work with different um, businesses and products and things like that and uh, make money on that side you know as far as influencing and um, making deals with like I said different companies who are looking to advertise their products I think that um there's some potential there and I've been thinking about it a little bit. I mean, I've done it definitely in the past. I use my social media to make money. I'm thinking about even trying to uh, maybe do even more in that space. You know, and I, and I know that you have like, you also have your clothing line too. That you yeah, sell. Yeah. Um, you make different shirts based off fights or occasions and anything like yeah. that. Um, yeah. Is that, that's, that's just uh, additional things that you're probably going to also look into uh, throughout this time and, and maybe, Absolutely. and, um, Absolutely. oh, go ahead. Oh, no, you go ahead. I, you, uh, glitched out a little bit. I thought you were finished. Oh, yeah. So I was just wondering, like, is there maybe, like, when you come up with shirts, since there isn't fights right now, unsure that, um, that you're going to also make in between this time for period for, you know, maybe a donation or coronavirus. I know that you've had one before. Um, in representation of one of your friends in, in the past. And yeah. So. Definitely, you know, that's something that, like you said, um, we're pushing right now is the, is the clothing and, uh, that we sell with uh, Fit Warrior and stuff like that. And um, that's a good, you know, um, way to, you know, bring in some money when we're not fighting and things like that. And definitely that's a great idea, you know, anything that we can do. I know we're doing, and this isn't really money towards it, but it's been free shipping on everything uh, since this all happened, just kind of uh, bring the price down a little bit on things. But definitely, you know, we're always looking to do things like that, and we've done a lot of that so far in my young career, just always trying to figure out ways that we can help people who need it and things like that. And uh, our hearts definitely are going out to the people who have already been affected by this. I mean, I think everybody's been affected by it, but I'm talking about more of a, the people who actually have gotten it so far and um, the people who are suffering, people who have lost pe uh, loved ones and things like that. You know, this is a crazy thing. I think uh, it definitely blindsided everybody, all of us. You know, I think we're all in the same boat as we didn't expect this to come on so fast and uh, have our lives so drastically affected. I mean, each and every one of us, really. Uh, but I do, I do also want to know, just on a fun side, man, because, you know, I know – all work, no play makes like a kind of a boring person. Like, are you also going to pick up like the PlayStation a little bit? I saw your brother saying he's going to make a TikTok. Are you going to be on doing, are you going to be one of the boxers on TikTok now? Is, is, is your lady uh, going to make no, you? No, no TikTok. No TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> no TikTok. I, I am, uh, I'm not conforming. Everybody is doing TikTok since this whole thing has started. And I won't be one of them. You won't see me on there. But uh, my little brother isn't, he's doing it now. You know, my cousins, my family. Are doing it, but me and my wife are taking a no TikTok stand. And uh, hey, man, but, <laughs> you just may not age well, depending how long this goes. Man, the TikTok might be just right around. On <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I'm not doing it, and uh, it's all good. They can take it how they want. But uh, but from the standpoint of uh, getting on the game, for sure, definitely. I mean, what more? You know, it's definitely. Uh, I think something that we're all, I mean, I probably played more video games in the last couple of days than I have, and I still haven't even played that much, but I'm not a huge gamer, but I play, I definitely play with my little brother and stuff like that, so, yeah, you know, I got I got a Fortnite win today. Okay. You know, I'm, not, I'm, not the, I'm not the greatest, you know, on the game, but I can hold my own. No Call of Duty Warzone? That's like the game that everyone... Yeah, yeah, you know, I don't know, I, I, I'm not really uh, playing a lot of Call of Duty right now. 
me and my brother, we kind of go through phases of what games we play. You know, sometimes we'll be really into Call of Duty or really into 2K or really into Fortnite. But really the only reason I play the game is because my brother kind of got me into it and we play together. So uh, it's really just what we're into together, uh, you know, at the time. So. so is it safe to assume that you're going to be at the crib watching old fights like a lot of the boxing fans? You're, you're going to be That's dissecting true. some old school fights. Any particular fighters yeah. that you're going to kind of go back in time and just watch? Well, since, uh, you know, the passing of Roger, um, that's, you know, really sad and, you know, rest in peace to him. And, um, but I've been watching some Roger Mayweather highlights and I watched both of the Chavez fights last night and, uh, those were incredible fights. You know, I haven't, I've watched Roger before I watched, you know, him, his fights, uh, with like Pazienza and stuff. I watched that fight last night too. I just like went on like a Roger Mayweather mm marathon last night and you know watched a lot of his fights and what a jab man what a jab that guy had and uh just he was also he was a mean he was a mean son of a gun in there too and i really liked that about watching him you know he he was in there with some killers you know especially guys like um julio Cesar chavez and he's you know obviously just a bull you know coming in and he was a lot physically stronger than roger but roger didn't even though he ended up losing both times, he didn't take any mess the whole time. You know wow. what I mean? The whole time he was uh, right there and uh, in, in holding his own throughout the whole fight. And obviously Chavez being one of the greatest of all time. So that just shows what, even though Roger lost the fights, I mean, there were great wars. So that just shows what kind of fighter he was. And uh, it's, it's just, it was cool to go back and reminisce and watch his fights after, you know, he passed. But I'm really sad that, you know, he's gone, but did a lot. Do you get a chance to see his fights for Purnell? I believe he, he, he knocked he knocked Purnell Whitaker down. If you, if, um, yeah, yeah. Missing. So I was watching the highlights of he when I was watching his highlights. I didn't go watch that full fight last night, but I, uh, yeah, that that knockdown was in the highlights. But you know, he fought Purnell. But yeah, man, he was a great talent. Floyd went and mastered his style. 